my last demo, I talked about how layouts are becoming a lot more dense, and people are trying to pack more and more metal and functionality, really, into smaller and smaller packages. And a result of putting so much metal close together in such a small package is that everything couples together. And that means that in the design process, engineers need to run electromagnetic simulations earlier in their design and a lot more often than they ever had to do that in the past. So one major theme that we focused on in ADS 2017 was really improving the entire EM setup process. We call this EM usability. So I thought I would demonstrate that on the chip that I showed you in the module in the, from the uh, earlier demo today. So let's say I wanted to run a top-level EM simulation of this entire chip. How would I set that up? Well, I'd have to go and select, perhaps, each of these bond pads and put a port at all these bond pads. Now, because of the cycle selection, it's a lot easier for me to go and fine-tune exactly what layer on the bond pad I want to pick. So there's all these different rectangles that are put over top of each other, and it's easy enough to select those. But now I could potentially have to expand the selection to every single bond pad to create a port at all of those locations. And some chips, you know, this, this one has only maybe 15 pads or so, but uh, other chips have hundreds of pads, so how can you create lots of different ports on all these bond pads? Um, in ADS 2017, there's a really nice way to do that, and that is this capability called Select Circles and Rectangles of the Same Dimension. So all I need to do is click on the rectangle that I want, and I can expand my selection really easily to all the rectangles of the same dimension by doing that. And then if I wanted to create EM ports out of that, I could go to EM tools, create multiple pins from selection, and there we go. I've got all my EM ports set up. So that's great if I'm trying to do uh, sort of a top-level design, but oftentimes in the, the design process, engineers want to get at specific couplings or smaller sections of their design to really zero in on one particular problem that they might be having. So let's say I want it to kind of zoom down at the transistor level here and really get at a coupling problem I might have between two of my transistors. There I'd need to select uh, the metal that I want to run an EM simulation on and then sort of cut it out of my design to run a smaller EM simulation so I'm not simulating the entire chip, which can take a really long time. So to do that, it again can be challenging. There's lots of different layers here. So how would engineers go about doing that in ADS 2017? Well, earlier I showed you how 3D layout makes it a lot easier to select objects, and that's, that's true here as well. So I'll kind of illustrate that. First, we'll go into 3D mode, and I'll outline this metal too. So in 3D, it's a lot easier to select the objects that you want to send these off into a cookie cut design, which is a separate design that you're going to run an EM simulation on. Now, the thing here is, as I'm selecting these substructures, you can see that I'm sort of clicking a lot of times on all these structures that I want, because I don't want to bring in any metal into my EM simulation that's not important, or I'm not trying to analyze from a coupling sense. So as I'm selecting all these structures, I'm holding in the shift key and trying to, to grab all these things together at once. And if I make a mistake, I sort of have to start over. Well, one capability that we added to really improve this is this grouping capability. So I can actually take these, these items that I've selected and I can create a group. And I'll call it my EM simulation. Now this is useful for a lot of things, but the real intention is to be able to go and cut portions of your design out for an EM simulation. So if I have this particular group here, and then I want it to say add another piece of metal over here to my group, I could select the metal and select my group, and then I could say regroup, and then that's going to add the piece of metal to my group. So it's easy to, to ungroup things and regroup things together. Now to run an EM simulation, let me do a cookie cut. This is where I'll take this structure and cut it out of my design so I can go and set up ports and things. So there's a cookie cutting capability here and based on the selection I can now grab that and bring it into a new design. Okay, so now I've got my transistor metal into a new design. How do I begin setting up ports? Again, there's lots of different types of ports that you can set up. It can be kind of confusing and so one thing we did was added a capability to create multiple types of ports from the same menu. So the traditional port that a lot of people usually set up is called a dot port. It's just a single point. But for a structure like this, if you're, if you're hitting it with a, a microwave signal, you may want to use different types of ports. So here's an edge port. That may actually be how the signal is, is going in or out of the transistor. And it's really easy to create these types of ports. We can also create rectangular area ports, circle ports, and delta gap ports. So the edge port also has a nice capability where you can angle snap and layer snap. So whatever layer I put it on, you can see that the port is actually adjusting to that. So 
it's really easy to create something like an edge port out of this design. Okay, so now that I've got my port set up, what about the ground definition? Well, in ADS 2017, we've got a calibration feed and we've also got a ground layer. Now, this is typically implicit, but if I wanted to make this a very specific layer in my design, for example, if I wanted to make this metal too and reference it there, it's easy enough to select that. And the port calibration, in the past, you know, there's a lot of different types of calibration. Which one's the best one to use? Well, um, right now, the default in ADS 2017 is actually auto. So this determines the right kind of port based on your, your port setup overall. Okay, so now we've got the port set up. We've got the ground referenced. We've got the calibration defined. How do we begin to run the EM simulation? You know, there's a lot of EM settings, there's a lot of options, mesh settings, etc., that you can that you can set up, and it can be really confusing. Uh, not all designers are EM experts, so one of the things we did is if when you start a simulation setting now in ADS, we provide these user templates. So based on the application that you're using, you can go in, and this will predetermine all these mesh points and and different processor options, metal options for you before you start. Now this isn't perfect, but it's a really good starting point. And if you're just if you're just trying to run an EM simulation and you're a circuit designer, this is a, gonna give you a really great start. So when I create an EM setup view, based on my selection, I said I'm doing an RFIC. Now all of my options, preprocessor, mesh options, things that honestly as a circuit designer, I don't understand a whole heck of a lot about, all of these things are pre-populated into my EM simulation. Um, simulation and I can just click simulate and go. So it's a lot easier to set up and run an EM simulation in ADS 2017.